Okay, so the other day I'm on social media and I'm scrolling through and it's a fairly typical day. So, you know, horrible. I'm getting all this information that reminds me about how bad things are getting and the fractures in our nation and the divisions that are present. And then I see this video shared by a friend of mine. It's, it's a documentary. You know the one. And I click on the video, I begin watching it, and within a couple of seconds, I do this involuntary eye roll. Because to me, there's no truth in what I'm seeing. And yet my attention turns from that video to the person who shared the video. Because it's someone who I respect and is normally very level-headed and rational. And I was kind of taken aback that she had shared this kind of video. And then I scrolled down a couple inches on my newsfeed and there it was again shared by someone else who I also respected. And within a couple of hours, I saw this video two or three dozen times by shared by my friends. And I thought, well, what's happening here? Am I missing something? I and mean, it reminded me how seductive conspiracy really is. You know, it reminded me about how alluring that can be and how attractive it is in times like these because what conspiracy is, it's an intellectual intoxicant. We have a reality in front of us that is so unsettling and so terrifying that we can't deal with that. And so we need something else for our minds to do, some other place for it to go. And so we, we hang on to these questions, we grasp at these ideas, we cling to false stories, and because they allow us to entertain other thoughts. Maybe there's more than what we can see here. Maybe there is some deeper thing happening. And if I can think about those deeper possible things or those wider conspiracies, then I don't have to entertain reality anymore. I don't have to deal with the mud and the filth of my, my objective reality. What's interesting about this particular video is that people who shared it often offered similar sentiments to sort of preface it, they would say, well, this really makes you think. Or they'd say, I'm not sure if this is true or not, but it really has made me think. What people are saying when they're sharing something like that, they're saying, I, I wanna believe this. I really need to believe this. So I'm gonna place it out into the world because I know that if other people like it or retweet it or comment favorably on it, that's gonna give it credence. It's gonna actually make it feel more normal for me to believe it. It's gonna seem quite reasonable. And you, you start to have what's happening on social media, these sort of affinity tribes of confirmation bias, where we develop a bunch of people who say, oh yeah, I think you've got something there. And we begin to amplify this false story and we perpetuate the untruth to a point where it becomes quite acceptable and quite reasonable. And then millions of people begin to believe this untruth. And all of a sudden we're all distracted from the bedrock reality that we should be dealing with. So I would say to you right now, if you are terrified and if you're worried and if you're grieving, be terrified and worried and grieving. Deal with all the stuff that you need to deal with and put your energy there. Don't divide your energy by making your mind do all this work, going down all these trails that have no redemptive value. I try to be a person who deals in reality and objective truth and data as much as I can, because I know that in difficult times, in times of conflict and struggle and turbulence, I need to be present and available. I need to be intellectually sober in those moments. And I know that if I follow all these what ifs, they're, they're dangerous places for me to go down. And right now, friends, if we just deal with the number of people who are dying and the number of people who are sick and the number of people who are unemployed, that's enough, isn't it? We really don't need to be piling on extraneous things. What we have in front of us is difficult enough. Today, it's terrifying. We don't need to create other monsters to make us more terrified. So do your best today to sit with your worry and your fear and your grief. Hold tightly to the things that you value. Hold tightly to people. Hold tightly to objective truth and try to let go of falsehood and conspiracy and fantasy. 
do your best to be here and now. We need you. Be encouraged. <laughs>